kes bunuh diri dilaporkan setiap hari. Sehingga Mac lalu 336 kes bunuh diri dilaporkan. Sebanyak 468 kes bunuh diri dilaporkan sepanjang 5 bulan pertama tahun ini. It's nothing simple like the darkness. It's a black hole where no matter how hard you try, you can't just seem to figure out how to let even a sliver of light to pass through. It's being stuck in one place while everyone around you moves so fast. It's when comfortable lies in the word sadness because. Happiness is nothing but a stranger. It's waking up every single day feeling like you're being pulled by gravity a little bit too hard. It's when every ticking of the clock is sadness, numbness, hopelessness, and a very deep emptiness without knowing exactly. Assalamualaikum. Hi, I'm Ifa, a friend of a great mental illness fighter who has escaped depression that consumed her in the past. Today, I have her with me, willing to share with you her personal experience with mental illness. And as her friend, I will tell you from my perspective as well. Sometimes when we are talking to her, her mind seems to be elsewhere. Is that she can stay still, like she is worried about something. But the worst part is her mood keeps changing, like a roller coaster. The assignment started to pile up, and my friends wouldn't stop bugging me about it. We tried to reach out and ask her to go out with all of our friends, but she won't answer our texts. I started to hear voices in my head that told me a lot of mean things, and day by day, they're only getting worse. I tried reaching out, but when I did. They only say to pray harder, to recite more Al Quran. But I promise you, I already did. I really did. For the longest time, I've tried. <laughs> I don't get it. You have no reason to be depressed. You have good grades. You are rich, and you have your family with you. Oh, seriously, I don't get it. That's why praying is important, you see. Look what happened when you're too consumed on this dunya. But little did they know, when I woke up at 3 a.m., I would notice her on the strada crying. When everyone was busy sleeping, Quran was the company she was busy reciting. people by accident. They are meant to cross our path for a reason. Ifa started to approach me. She was the reason why I opened up my heart to seek for professional help. She convinced me and my parents to see a doctor. My parents could accept her advice as she was a psychology student. I'm starting to receive my family support as the doctor has given clear explanation to my parents of my condition. Turns out, the lack of faith they mentioned was nothing but chemical imbalance in her brain. Now, with the right medical treatment, besides her never any trust in Allah, she is better than ever. Her grace is improving again, she is more engaged in the class, and her smile doesn't feel forced anymore. 
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ما ودعك ربك وما قلا Surah Al-Duha was revealed as a consolation to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. At the time, the revelation of the Qur'an had paused for so long that it caused him to feel anxiety and sorrow. Furthermore, he was ridiculed with the notion that his Lord had forsaken and was displeased with him. Based on Sahih al-Bukhari, this anxiety was so bad that Rasulullah had considered throwing himself from the tops of high mountains several times. The story is a proof that even Rasulullah has felt a great sorrow and anxiety in his life. Having depression does not equate to lack of faith. The stigma that associates mental illness as a result of a lack of faith or worship should not exist. We should all play our part to end this absurd stigma by aspiring to be educated and educate others. And to all the mental illness fighters out there, remember that Allah has the cure for every disease. So put your trust on him and never lose hope. Remember, effort, dua, istiqamah, and tawakkal.